Hey everyone, my name is Loanne. I'm the owner and creator of Power to Us on Instagram. And along with my partner, Dr. Jason Crean, I'm the co-founder of C4AW.org, which stands for Collaborating for Avian Wellness, where our mission is simple, to help improve the lives of all birds in human care and to partner with the best small businesses who offer the best quality products to help support avian wellness. Now, the purpose of this video is to share with you how easy it is to grow microgreens inside your home using trueleafmarket.com uh, microgreen kits. Now these are the mini kits. You've seen me grow microgreens using these kits. Well, one of my goals this year is to take it to the next level and that is use the hydroponic systems that trueleafmarket.com sells. So along with my friends, Karen and Tony, we're gonna to share with you the easy instructions and the how to grow microgreens inside your home using the True Leaf Market hydroponic sectional starter kit. The truth is, I don't have a green thumb. If I can successfully grow microgreens inside my home, I feel anyone can do it. Now, I love True Leaf Market for many reasons, but one, is they're easy to follow instructions that come with their products. They have empowered me to get the confidence to grow food inside my home. Now, one of the great benefits of this hydroponic sectional tray is it gives you the opportunity to grow a diversity of microgreens simultaneously. So um, you could do the same thing with the mini microgreen kits. This just gives you a little bit more quantity than the, um, the mini kits do. But the mini kits are a great way to start. I highly recommend starting here. And then, like, like I shared with you earlier, my goal this year was to take the next step and to hydroponically grow microgreens. Now, growing your own food at home has many benefits. One being, you can grow food that's pesticide free. You're in control of what you and your birds are consuming. Besides, it's convenient and economical to do. So if you have been following my channel for a while, you probably have heard me say, I believe in feeding raw whole foods to our flock, but not just raw whole foods, a diversity of raw whole foods. And the really cool thing about when you grow your own food at home, whether you're soaking or sprouting, or you're growing microgreens, each stage of the growing process, which soaking, sprouting, microgreen is all different stages of growth, equates to a different composition of nutrients. So for example, if I'm adding ah. broccoli microgreens to my raw food mash, and I already have the plant of broccoli chopped up into my raw food mash, guess what? I'm getting another uh, profile of nutrients coming from the microgreens. So I'm adding diversity in doing this. Now, I will be growing these microgreens both for me, I will be adding them to my salad, but also for the flock here, I'll be adding it to their raw whole food mass. What do you say we get started? I'm gonna hand it over to my friend Karen, who's gonna review some of the instructions. And as she's doing that, I'm gonna actually show the steps of the way of growing microgreens. Hi, Karen and Zaki here, and we are putting together our microgreens growing kit hydroponic sectional from True Leaf Market. First piece you want to note is your base tray. This is what's going to hold everything and go underneath your lighting. Your bottom tray fits right into the base tray. You're going to want to pour two to four cups of water into this bottom tray. Testing the water is simply a best practice. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. So far for me, it looks like I'm in the target range. So I should be good to go. So included with your hydroponic system for your micronutrients is a test kit for your water. Uh, your water needs to be tested for its pH, which is relative to its acidity. They include that within uh, the kit. This is a little strip here that you can use to test. Inside there is a chart. You can pull it out or leave it right in the bottle. You wanna take your water that you're gonna be using on a daily basis and dip part of that strip in there so you can see. Let it set for a minute and then you just match it up to the color. As you can see here, we're right around uh, six, between six and seven. Just as long as you're between six and seven, you should be fine and your water will not affect your, uh, your growth. You can also, if you do not have a filter system, if you leave your gallon of water out, the chlorine will dissipate in 24 hours. Then you're going to take your sectional 
put it into this bottom tray. You'll notice water starting to seep through, which is what we want. You're gonna take your hydroponic growing pads, right? And you're gonna put one in each section. Again, you're gonna to start to see water seep up and, and absorb, and that's what we want. You're gonna take your, your seeds, sprinkle them in each of the sections, and then you're going to take your top tray and cover it over. I really love the variety of seeds that come within this particular sectional of microgreens, like basil, cabbage, broccoli, uh, salad mix, a spicy salad mix, radish, uh, mustard. So we're about to grow these. the pads are pretty moist I'm gonna give it one quick spritz to make sure and then I'll cover it like Karen mentioned and this will stay covered until the sprouting begins two to three times a day you're gonna have a look at your microgreens and you're going to spritz them to give them a nice missing you're also going to want to check the water in the base tray to make sure that there's enough in there about two to three days, you're going to start to see the seeds taking root onto the uh, growing pads. And that is when you're going to leave the top tray off and flick your lights on. Be sure to keep missing two to three times a day. Your microgreens definitely need water. I'm excited to get started with growing the microgreens. Now, once the microgreens start to sprout and take root, we can then put them under the grow lights. Now, to grow microgreens successfully in your home, you don't necessarily need a grow light to do that. Um, I, like I shared with you in the mini, uh, using the mini microgreen kits, I didn't use any uh, light, just a natural light coming from the window, that's it. But I'm excited to try the grow lights that come as part of the sectional microgreen growing unit that I got from True Leaf Market. Now I got a small, the smallest version available, Karen got a little bit larger one, so I'm excited to give that a try and share that also with all of you. Just like that, we have a rack to grow microgreens with grow lights. So here's your unit complete, plugged in, lights, your tray, and it's ready to load up two shelves worth of plants. Spritz them. I do it twice a day. And I already see some cool things happening. Look at that. And... Good morning, it's day two. Um, gotta just keep these seeds moist. That's... There's some sprouting going on. I hope you have found this video to be informative and helpful. And a big shout out and thanks to TrueLeafMarket.com and all the folks there. They have been kind enough to extend a discount code to all of our supporters. Please use C4AW in the discount code field and you will save 10% on your next order. That code is good for one time only.